and sometimes so, it's just like me thinking about random things like oh lotus or candy biscuit tastes the same why isn't candy biscuit as famous as lotus yeah things yeah. like i that. haven't i haven't read any work you've done on this why is this i'm going to stop all this discussion now why are they not as famous because i when i left pakistan in yeah. 2010 the lotus yeah. craze was non existent oh it, it's insane tha. like usko nutella tha perhaps usko nutella aane wala yeah. um can wait 2010 a, yeah i left like in december yeah i mean nutella 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 wasn't a thing then nutella became a thing in 2014 ish yeah and then like research on like get to turkey say his nuts aate hain turkey mein bada monopoly hai his nuts ki nutella was like this is way too much but khair so when i come back to pakistan like over the past 3 4 years everything has lotus in it and mai jahil i was like oh the the flower maybe they're using the is the fucking biscuit <laughs> i was like oh acha all right <laughs> why um how how do you know how this happened or slash why yeah um i i so the thing is that lotus biscuits uh and their flavor started coming in so people started eating lotus biscuits Mm-hmm. And it became a whole thing. I think an Instagram blogger started it. Yeah. Um. And it became, it became a whole thing that people started eating lotus a lot. And what happened to Pakistan? Maybe they asked for a place to get them. People started eating them a lot. And this is back when the dollar wasn't as expensive as it is now. So you know. Wait. What is that out there? Yeah, yeah. So, so the Biscoff spread, that na lotus, that was also pretty cheap, right? and these desserts had become famous around the world and the taste yeah. is really nice and creamy it's a very different taste and um unlike nutella because nutella would feel really heavy lotus yeah. is a little lighter it yeah. feels good um so people started mixing it with a lot of desserts um one day i went out and i was having dessert and everything there was like oh lotus ice cream yeah. lotus french toast cheesecake lotus waffle lotus cheesecake yeah and I'm just like, what the hell? I'm like, what, yeah. what is this lotusization? Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then I think to myself, and I go like, lotus biscuit is practically candy biscuit. Like, yeah. Where, of course, it's not the same thing, but like, I would say that they're eighty-five to ninety percent same. And I go like, yar, humne ki kyun nahi kiya? Why didn't we candyize the whole like menu? Why is it lotus like? or it so this is and this this time that i'm thinking is like when the dollar starts getting expensive and import substitution shuru and i'm like right. and at this point lotus spread had become really expensive all over pakistan and shortage bhi ho gayi thi because demand bahut tha supply kam thi and dollars ki wajah se the price is also gone up so at that point i go like you know what i think candy biscuit lost out on a chance mm. and that is the 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 inspiration for the article yeah yeah like i wonder because with lotus and, as a piece ha huh? and to try this theory out what i did is, is i made this cup oh, spread using candy biscuit right. at home yeah yeah and i made i made a lotus cake okay how, using the spread how different was it yeah i mujhe sugar nahi dalna pada okay candy is sweeter Candy, candy has sugar in it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, candy has sugar in it, and it's a little coarser. Yeah. So it took a little, it took a little more time in the chopper than lotus would, but um, that's that's the only difference, right? And it was really easy to make. I made the spread at home. I made the cake at home, and my mom was like, "Wow." Yeah. Um, but that is when that is that is my you know evil, like that's my villain story. <laughs> so. <laughs> I I I then go on to write the story and I I also remember this and this is the funny bit. So while writing the story I wanted to talk to people. So I took I talked to a few bakers okay. that use candy. All right so people that use candy that was important and also I spoke to um a friend of mine Amar a uh, rogue economist on Twitter I'm pretty sure you follow him as well. Spoke to him because one he's an economist two he runs Karachi food diaries so You know, oh, he runs yeah, Karachi so food diaries. He's kind. I don't know the details, but like he's there. Board. He's on so the board. I'm, yeah, and I'm like, dude, this guy knows food too, right? And yeah. I've spoken to him about food, 
and I, I message him. I was like, hi, Amar, I have a few questions about this. And I, I message him and I, he answers my question. He gives me a beautiful quote. He goes like, you know, brands need to start thinking outside the wrapper. And why can't I get a churan chutney dessert? It's, it's a beautiful quote, right? right. Asha, and in order to troll around with people, what I do is I, I tweet writing a super serious article about a super serious issue with a super serious quote by, you know, rogue economists, right? And then people start asking me, are you writing about LNG? Are you writing about <laughs> energy? Are you writing yeah, about yeah, yeah. policy? And they're asking like crazy questions, like, you know, like super serious. And then three days later, an article comes out about Lotus yeah. and Candy. 